you are welcome to the episode 8 of the bezier 2 series and in this particular episode you are going to learn the differences between the bezier 2 and the max 2 now this particular episode is an interesting one because in this episode i'll be talking about the differences between these two i'll be talking about the similarities between these two and also i will talk about the best one between the two that you should always use especially for your logo designs for your illustrations and all of these things stick around all right so once again you are welcome to this video now if you are new to this channel you know what to do do where to hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and also hit the like button like i said in this episode i'm going to be talking about the differences between the bz2 and the max2 I'm also going to mention their similarities i'm going to show you their similarities and also talk about the best one and the one you should always use whenever you want to work on your logo on your illustrations or whatever you want to work on with those tools now first of all let me start with the busy two now i don't need to say much about these tools if you've been following this series from episode one till now you probably you should have been able to use the tools not probably okay if you meticulously follow this series till now you should have been able to use these tools even to create illustrations now if you are just watching this and you've not watched any of the previous episodes just check the description box below for the link to um the other episode okay so that we can be on the same page all right now i don't need to say much like i said about this particular tool because i've introduced every function in here so let's go to the max two now the first thing i would like you to note about the max two is that the max two cannot work on its own the max two cannot function on its own okay now if you look at this you realize that even without tapping anything on the workspace just from looking at this just by looking at this you can see the bz2 but no matter how you search you are not going to see the max 2 that means the first difference between the max 2 and the bz2 is that the max 2 is dependent on the element that you are working with okay in a way it depended on the element that you are working with but the bz2 can function on its own the bz2 can work on the uh, on its own now why is it like this why is it that the max is dependent on a two why is it that the max is dependent on a particular element maybe a text or a shape i'm going to show you that right away let me enable a shape first of all this is a particular shape i have just enabled the shape on my pixel app now let me change the color for contrast so that you people so that you can see what i'm trying to show you very well now you can see that once i tap it um there are more functions that are enabled okay now if i tap if i if, if i don't tap on anything let's say i tap on an empty space on my workspace okay this is my workspace this is what i call my workspace okay like i tap on um just an empty space you realize that the only two that are here are just one two three four five six in which the bz2 is among them but then if i tap on this shape you realize that more to small functions now became enabled now became available now if i begin to look for the max two you will see the max two here look at the max two look at the max two here now if i tap on the max two from here i can use it to edit and to um to just um customize this shape to customize text also the same thing applies to test if i enable a text let's assume that i let me delete this let me bring a test you realize that if i do not tap on the test let's assume i tap on this a uh, workspace you realize that no function here there's only there are only two functions here either to add text or to add codes there are some custom codes that are already in pixel app but then if i tap on this particular test now some functions become enabled all right they are now visible and one of them is the max 2 again now look at this max 2 and with this i normally um edit my text i normally um customize my test i use it to create test effects and all of that so what is my point is that max 2 is dependent on either text or shapes or images all right so max 2 is dependent on this visual element but bz2 can work on its own now like i said one of the major reasons or let me say the major reason why the max 2 is dependent on this element is simply because the max 2 is bounded 
and this this is what is going to lead me to the second point the max 2 is bounded it's already close now let me show you what i'm trying to say but this time around let me use the shape so that what i'm trying to explain can be more obvious now look at this is a shape now if i click on the max 2 please pay careful attention if i click on the max 2 you will realize that there are already four points just like what you can see on my screen yeah there are already four points there are four points this is one this is two okay this is two this is three and this is four these are the four points that are already joined together and this is the simple reason why it is um it is um it is dependent on some of these elements why because it cannot work on its own all right but then if you are to um okay let me mark this okay let me mark this and just place this here but if i click on the bz2 you will realize that the bz the bz2 starts from the lowest okay in fact i can decide to um look at it i can decide to reduce it to just one point okay let me let me first of all move this down i can decide to tap on this and reduce this to just one point yes i can decide to reduce it to just one point okay sorry all right so my point is that you can see that it is on its own like it is a line already like it is a line it is not enclosed now you can decide to now add more points by doing all of this okay by doing this then you can now join them together so this is what max to gives you by default like this particular function is what max to gives you by default but then i just created that on my own with busier 2 i don't know if you are getting my point just follow me carefully all right so that is one major difference between the max 2 and the busy 2 and this will mean that there are some logos there are some sketches that you may want to vectorize okay using pixel app that max to max 2 may not be able to work for now why simply because probably this um these sketches are not enclosed okay for example let's assume that I, I don't have any sketch with me here but let's assume that i'm trying to work with a sketch that has to do with spiral okay one that i can just click on my bz okay let me let me use the draw tools to give you a sketch just a random sketch of what i'm trying to say so maybe something like this something like this something like this okay so um not not as not as rough as this okay you know this is just a rough sketch all right but then what is my point you will realize that for this particular um function we can't use the max 2 why because the max 2 has four points already so it's going to take us longer even if eventually we are going to be able to achieve it with the max 2 you will realize that it's going to take us a lot of time what i can just easily achieve using my bezier 2 all right so once i just move my bz to here i can adjust the nodes and um, i'll be able to achieve what i want to achieve okay this particular um tutorial is not for practicals okay like i'm not trying to um but i'm just trying to make you see how possible this is all right so um that is that about that so um while it may be difficult okay let me just show what i'm trying to say um yes let me add more points let me add more points this is just like a rough work okay to make you understand what i'm trying to say better let me zoom in my work um my workspace okay, okay i can adjust all of this and eventually arrive at what i want then i can decide to increase the stroke and all of that but all of this the max 2 cannot do why because it's already enclosed so the max 2 works well whenever you want to max just like the name if you want to create a max okay that is where the max 2 becomes very very functional so when working on a logo i will always advise that you use the bz2 why because the bz2 gives you the flexibility you need but the max 2 already gives you more like a template i don't want to use a template but it gives you four enclosed nodes already that you can begin to use now there are times where if you use the max 2 it's going to help you to achieve what you want faster for example let's assume i'm trying to create a um a logo that has to do with square shape with the max 2 i can just um with the max 2 i can just set my node 
um bring in the shape okay i already have my shape here yeah i'm talking about custom shape in this um in this case i'm talking about custom shape so i can just bring in my shape here click click on the max to then all i have to do is just to adjust the nodes and all of this okay i can just begin to adjust the nodes all right so it it helps me to achieve what i want faster okay in some cases in some cases so you can see now that just from doing this now let me click on out all right from do, from doing this i can achieve my custom shape depending on what i want okay depending on my need i can achieve it faster yes but then if you are working on a logo okay if you are working on a logo sorry if you are working on a logo you need to know that i would advise that you always use a bz because it gives you the flexibility you need at any point in time to remove nodes and to add nodes now briefly let me just take you through the function of the max tool what you get to enjoy when you try using the max tool now you realize that some of these things here are actually things that you will find also when using the bz2 like this this is for um removing a node you can see you can reduce this to two points okay you can see now you can actually reduce it to two points but they are still enclosed okay so you can remove um and just two but then if you want to add to you can decide to add right you can decide to add and this you can decide to add then you can decide to remove but then you can't um remove it to make it unenclosed okay like it will always be enclosed no matter what you are trying to do now what what i just achieved yes what you can also achieve with the bz2 here but only that with the bz2 you can decide to enclose it and you can decide to just um make it a line okay you can decide to make it a shape or you can decide to make it just a line let me click let me add okay then let me okay let me remove this sorry let me enclose this all right you can understand what i'm trying to pass across now so with this now i've formed my shape you can see still the same thing and i've been able to achieve what i want to achieve well then this max does not give the, the flexibility you need to um reduce your shape to a line it's always going to be in form of a shape and the max is dependent on shapes text images basically dependent on visual elements but with the bz2 you can create what you want from scratch by yourself without being dependent on any on any visual element okay and that is what you need especially when you are working on a logo that you already have a sketch okay so you know that this time around you are not working with any shape you are creating your own shape by yourself I believe you've understood the differences between the Max 2 and the BZ2 now. The question is, which of them is the best? Now, um, I won't really say one is the best. I won't really say one is better than the other because each of these tools have their peculiarity. Each of these tools have the advantage. Like I said earlier, I said the Max 2 can help you save time, especially when you are working, um, when you are working with a, when you are working on a sketch that probably has to do with squares or some of these things it gives you the speed sometimes but then if you are using the bz2 one advantage of the bz2 is the flexibility it gives you to always either work with a line or convert the line to a shape but with the max you can't convert your shape to a line all right so um but then i would advise that if you are working with if, if you want to create a logo all right i would advise that you always work with the um bz2 why because the bz2 is just like the pencil all right if you are familiar with um if, if you are familiar with illustrator okay or photoshop the way the bz2 works is that it works in a way that is similar to the pencil almost like the pencil just that there are limitations that the bz2 has that the pencil does not have okay so there are limitations but then the bz2 just like a um carbon copy of the pencil on pc all right and that is why it is a very amazing to even beyond just the wall of logo design beyond the wall of logo design to creating curves and all of that now thank you for sticking around to this point i believe that you've learned something 
if you've learned something let me know in the comments and i'm going to see you in the next episode